Assalamu alaikum. This is Abdurrahman, a student from King Faisal University. We are in part 7 of a series of lessons in C Sharp using console app. In this lesson, we will learn about looping statements. Looping statements allow a block of code to be executed repeatedly based on a condition. A while loop first checks a condition. If it's true, it will execute a block of code. It will then check again the condition and will continue repeating the process while the condition is true. A do while loop is similar to while loop except that it executes the block of code at least once before checking the condition. A for loop is good when you know how many times you need to repeat executing a block of code. Beside a condition, it has initialization for the counter and an increment on decrement or decrement operation for the counter. There is also a for each loop, but we will discuss it when we introduce arrays in lesson 9. In our first activity, we will ask a user for a number and we will generate its multiplication table when multiplied from 1 to 10. If you want to do it alone, please pause this video now. Let's create a new project and name it CA7 underscore 1. Since we know that our loop will always be from 1 to 10, we will use a for statement. Let's ask for the integer. Let's use a for statement with x as our counter that will start with 1. We will continue looping while x is less than or equal to 10, and our increment for x will be by 1. Now, let's display the output. Let's try and run it with input of 7. Great job! Let's proceed with our next activity. Here we will ask for two integer inputs only once. Afterwards, a menu with three choices will be displayed. A choice of S letter will compute and display the sum of two numbers. A choice of P letter will compute and display the product of two numbers. The menu will be continuously shown until X letter is chosen. If you want to do it on your own, please pause this video now. Let's create a new project and name it CA7 underscore 2. We will start by asking for the two numbers. We will try again the console.read key, so our choice variable must be declared as console key info. The looping statement we will use is do while to make sure that the menu will be shown at least once. Let's call the menu. To distinguish between S and P, we can use if statements or switch statement. I prefer switch statement for now. That's it. It will only stop after an X is chosen. 
Let's try it with 7 and 5. S P A X. Well done. Before we end our lesson, please be careful with infinite loops such as these. So there are times when you need them. Be careful that it's really what you want to do. Now here is your challenge. Modify our last project by adding two more options. D to subtract the first number to the second number. And the Q to divide the first number to the second number. Good luck. In our next lesson, we will be discussing string class functions. Thank you for visiting this channel.